Hey guys, I'm Tammy and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna attempt today to paint my new Ikea wardrobe. I have this wardrobe behind me, which I'll show you in a minute. And basically it just looks really bland. It's one of Ikea's cheaper ranges. And although the quality is all right, I just feel the white is really boring and I kind of want to play around with it and try something different. I found lots of inspiration pictures on Pinterest and I just love that kind of freehand drawing vibe. I think it's just gonna look really fun and playful and that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So someone on Instagram actually reached out to me and said I should definitely prime the wardrobe before I start painting on it because apparently if you don't do that the paint will actually chip off after it's dry so I'm using this one I just found it on Amazon and I sprayed it on yesterday let it dry outside and now I've put the drawers back onto the wardrobe ready to paint this is the paint that I'm using as well so I'm going to have two colors this is pink 12 from Lick it's a really nice kind of bright pink color and the second one I'm using is this light pink shade, Pink 03 from Lick. And it's just a nice complementary color that goes well together. But let me turn you around and show you the wardrobe. So this is the wardrobe. And as you can see, it's got three panels. Um, I've took the doorknobs off already. So we're just gonna paint directly onto the wardrobe. So as you can see, it's just like a normal boring white wardrobe. I just wanna bring a bit of color to it. What I am gonna do is actually get a pencil and draw on the design on the wardrobe before I start painting it. I think that'll just help me follow the lines a bit easier. So I've just gone ahead and done the frog tape on the edges of the doors. I took the door handles off as well, so I need these to actually open the cupboard. But I've put the frog tape on the edges as well of the wardrobe doors, just in case it seeps through. And then I've left some sections up here blank because I know I'm not gonna be painting anywhere near there. This is actually my first time doing anything like this. I've never really painted anything before. I've done like skirting boards and things, but I've never done actual furniture and kind of upcycling it, I guess. So we are both on this journey together. So this is the paint that I'm using. I'm thinking of doing a lighter color first before I do a darker color. I think it'll be easier to paint. I've just opened up and I'm just giving it a stir to make sure it's all mixed really well. I really love the color of this. It's a really nice shade of light pink. So I also have these three paint brushes and I'm not sure which one to use. I basically just bought a pack of three, but I'm actually thinking the smaller one would probably be really easy to get a really nice smooth line as I'm painting it freehand. I also realized I don't actually have a tray to put the paint in, but I do have this plastic board that I can just put the paint on and then kind of dip the paintbrush in and go freehand. It is looking so good so far. So I've just done that layer of the light pink on the wardrobe. So I've done it on the top and then also the bottom. Now I've got the shade pink 12, which is basically a darker pink. It's not super, super dark. It still works really nicely together.
finished painting the wardrobe and it's looking really good. I'm just gonna go for lunch, leave it to dry for a couple of hours, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's fully dry. So I've just come back from lunch and the wardrobe is fully dry now. It's been around two, maybe two and a half hours, and it's looking really, really good. I've just taken off the frog tape around the corners and I've screwed back on the door handles. Let me turn around the camera and show you what it looks like. I am so happy with how well this project turned out. It's actually way better than I thought it would be. It's a lot more pigmented than I thought as well, which I really like. I also think the pinks work really well together. I really like the shades of the pink as well. This is number 12 and number three from Lick. They've really paired beautifully together. I also really like as well how I've left like blank places with white in it. I think it helps break up the whole piece together. Obviously, this was just meant to be like a fun random project and it was my first time actually painting something. So this is definitely turned out way better than I expected. So you know in the beginning I said I had three paint brushes. I ended up using the smallest one which is this size. I'm not sure what the exact size is but I found it worked really well to get like a nice amount of paint onto the wardrobe without having too much. And then I also found this paintbrush in my art box. It's just like a normal round paintbrush. It's quite small I guess compared to the other one and this actually really helped for getting into the little corners because especially around the edges. I used this just to go in so I didn't actually touch the end of this. Even though I did put that frog tape on, I found this still was really helpful to get into the little corners. So the frog tape actually worked really well. I just took it off and I found that nothing actually bled through apart from one or two areas. Again, you are meant to take it off when it's wet, but because this was such a strange shape, like it's not just like a flat plane, I didn't really want to take it off and accidentally touch any paint on the wardrobe, so I just left it and took it off when it was dry, which to be fair worked pretty well. It's only one or two places where it did leak through, but that's just on the inside of the wardrobe, so you can't really see it. I was also worried that with the light pink, would you see the pencil marks through the paint? Because I obviously did the drawing of the pencil of the shape before I painted on it. And actually this paint covered the pencil marks completely so you can't actually see it on the wardrobe which is really good. I think this specific brand is probably quite high quality and like really thick so it makes sure it's not really watery and it just kind of creates a really nice shape and smoothness on the wardrobe. And this was obviously only like one layer, even though some areas I did paint a bit thicker, I think I can't really imagine putting another layer on this. I don't think it really needs it. Also with the pencil, I forgot to say is when I was drawing the shape that like organically, I made a mistake and I actually just used the rubber on the back of the pencil on the wardrobe and it actually came off completely fine. I thought maybe if I draw pencil on a wardrobe, it wouldn't rub off, but it did, which is really good. I definitely recommend using a pencil to draw your shape before you start painting because when you're painting it just makes it so much easier to have something to follow so you're not just doing completely by freehand but I am genuinely really happy with how this turned out I just love the overall effect I think it just brings a bit more of a playful vibe to my sewing room it's not like a massive kind of painting project but I think it's just a nice quick thing I think it ended up taking me about an hour to paint the entire thing which is really quick and then I left it to dry for maybe two two and a half hours Hours and that was definitely enough time. But overall, honestly, I'm super happy with how this project turned out. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking of painting something yourself. This was my first time almost upcycling something, so I would definitely do it again. I can imagine why you need the primer because I did read online that if you don't prime things, the paint can scratch off as you're using it. And I would be so annoyed if this scratched off after I've already spent so long painting it. So I'll let you know if anything like that does happen. I hope you enjoyed seeing my process of painting this project. I'll see you in the next one.